Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to. This, well, welcome to Moga Village. And I didn't do anything, that happened automatically. And welcome to the start of. Well, my next Monster Hunter playthrough here on this channel. We're doing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Morning, Hunter. You sleep well? I'm actually going to try and read these, or remember to read these, because this game's got a lot of humor in it. Despite, uh. Well. Actually, all the games do, so never never mind what I was going there. Uh, if it's if, if it's any comfort to you, Moga Villagen has... Uh, Villagen, wow, that's beautiful. Great start. He hasn't seen uh, two quakes in the same day yet. <laughs> Knock on wood. So yeah, Moga Village is being plagued with uh, some problems, as it would... Uh, as you'd expect. Well, let's back up. Welcome, welcome. I'm chief of this here little community. Nature provides Mocha Village with everything we need. The woods and the sea are our castle. Well, sure. Yeah, it's a good one. I can't read. It's fine. As folks like to say, living here long enough builds sinew on character. Th um, anyone else ever heard somebody say that? <laughs> it's not all rainbows and sunshine. Now we've got our share of turbulence. And uh, you can take that literally. You heard of a Legiacris? Oh, that's a foul, pernicious sea monster. If I said that right, I have no idea. Yeah, it's just decided to move into the neighborhood. The tyrant like that flashing around in our hunting fleet, that uh, oh, we'd be lucky to escape alive. Oh, let alone bring any back a good haul. Bring any back a good haul. Wow. At least we won't starve to death. All these blasted earthquakes will sink us first. <laughs> See, that's our other problem. You felt those tremors? Ah, oh, you know who's causing them. Well, they started. We know who caused them and why they started. Congratulations, I can in fact read. It's, it's okay, everybody. The sea is all riled up. That I guarantee. Or perhaps, who knows? I really can't read, everybody. <laughs> Not even five minutes in here and I... Oh my god. Anyway, we're in over our heads. And that's where you come in, kid. The way I see it, Moga Village needs a hunter. Yes, Logai Chris is mighty. Uh, too powerful for any human to tangle with. Oh, the way the village talks. <laughs> Oh, strong is that? Uh, strong is one thing, but invincible is something else. Uh, the guy Chris may be big, but I still has to eat and rest. And one day, just like the rest of us, it has to die. <laughs> if I was thirty years younger, I'd clean its clock myself. But uh, only mortal. Oh, I'll leave a, a toy of jamming the sea deadliest foes to uh, younger generations. You. Speaking of youngins. You and my son get to talk? Suppose not. Eh, quick yesterday, hit a four at the had the chance. So you don't see Junior around? Well, you couldn't have gotten far. Tech hike around the village, you'll find him. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's our initial payment, Hunter. It's not much. Well, that's enough to get you started. Fifteen hundred. So, like every other monster hunter, we're going to go walk around town, talk to everyone, get get acquainted, and uh I'm not sure if I'm going to get acquainted with the port as well in this episode. I might, just to show it. But uh, a lot of this episode is going to be talking to people and whatnot there, so I'm going to probably put uh, a link either on screen here or a time frame on screen right now, or at least in the description, to uh, tell you when the quest will actually start. So, uh, g g whoa. That did not move the way I expected. Holy crap. Not who I wanted to talk to, but sure. Uh, Oh, don't look all bright-eyed, bushy and tailed. Okay, whatever. Ah, never thank you for helping pick up after the quake. I was so shook up and <laughs> so shook up to shake your hand. Ah, get it? Yeah, it's terrible puns. Oh, we're still uh, tied up. It, it could be worse. Oh, by the way, see that house over there with a the colorful curtain? That's your new pad. Inside, you'll find your item box, all times of weapons and armor. Eh, sure. Use the box whenever you want. Change your equipment, and the feline inside is also help you get your seat waited. Yeah. Make sure you uh, pause and say hello. Yeah, game's full of that. Uh, I can't talk to people apparently. Come on, that's what I was trying to do. So the Wavarian artisan is going to be our blacksmith for the game. So you're the hunter who's been hearing about. Oh, I got to look at you. Well, I'm the greatest. Blacksmith alive. I hammer out all equipment around these parts. Swords that'll slice you in half with a touch. Bow guns you could hit a grain of rice with. Armor to repel a giant riverins. Riv riverins. Perfect. 
Make anything provided. Bring me the materials. Of course. Make sure you get all equipped proper before going into the woods. And I actually really like the guild sweetheart. She's got a good sense of humor. And hi, and welcome to Mocha Village. You must be the new hunter everyone's yak yakking about. I'm going to really screw up her speech. I know it. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm your liaison to the Hunter's Guild. Oh, I'd shake your hand, but you'd probably crush it, you brute. <laughs> She's actually saying grr. Wow. Ah, just kidding. So, basically, Guild puts food in your plate by hooking you up with jobs we call quests. You need a Guild Hall liaison like yours truly in no time flat. Work will pour in from all across the land. In theory. I see, I heard you were coming and told them that I have a quest ready for you. And what did they send? Nothing. Zip. Nada. Well, you might have noticed on the trip over, Moga Village is pretty far from what you call civilization. Uh, the guild, maybe the guild forgot about us? Uh, maybe they fired me. Maybe I need to stop talking. Anyway, quest counter's closed, so say hello to the village chief and his son for now. Get settled in. <laughs> Not who I wanted to talk to. Why does movement seem so weird in this game compared to the other ones? Oh, by the way, our village does uh, brisk trade with far-off Port Tanzia. Oh, you uh, want to pay a visit to the port? Uh, just hop aboard the ferry dock at the pier. Tanzia's quest will uh, test your metal, but trust me, the rewards are worth it. Ask the feline standing there for permission to come aboard. He's a capable little fella, so let him handle nautical particles. <laughs> or particulars, perhaps. I'm sure the folks at the port will be happy to see Fresh Face, too. Swing up by them whenever you got some time to kill. So Portanzia is multiplayer in this game. That is uh, effectively the guild hall for this. And I will be spending a lot of time there off camera. <laughs> ah, the fishmonger is here. I know. Yeah, the hunter folks are going on about. I don't know why everyone's... I'm talking weird for everyone. I apologize, people. Well, I run the fishery here, and don't you forget it. You're lucky we didn't meet before, but uh, that last quake put me in a foul mood. That's why we're lucky. I was half I was up half the night cleaning up the mess. Oh, not only that, my boys in the hunting fleet were due home ages ago. I never take this long fishing. Well, I'm sick with worry. If I don't know if they're or if I didn't know they're made of steel and fire, I paddle out to see myself to rescue them. Anyway, you come back later. You know, once the fishery's back in business, alright? Um, do I have anyone else? I got a few people left to talk to up here. Where do we go here? We've got... No. Oh. Ah, oh, excuse me. Hunter person. Uh, if you want to get to Moga Woods, just cut across this, across the bridge. You can uh, get back the same way, so don't forget when the entrance is. I'm supposed to ask permission before we go into the woods. Uh, oh, but I'm not telling you what to do. There's an army right here. You need equipment? Uh, don't blink. You should go around, uh, or... Don't blink. Wow, where the hell am I reading that? Don't think you should go around dressed like me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have this stone I picked up when I heard about Hunter was coming. You want it? Yeah, use these to sharpen blades. Wow, you're a lot nicer than I thought. My big brother said you'd snap me like a twig, but you're alright. So we got a whetstone. Armory's here. Blacksmith will be here uh, after a quest or so. And what do I have left? We have people over here to talk to. This is not over here. This is over here. This is where the farm is. Well, well, well. Uh, if it isn't the hunter, everyone's rustin' over. Well, whoop de doo You see this here farm, hunter? It feeds all Moga Village. Now, notice anything missing? That's right. Farm hands. This place is normally crawling with farming felines. All nya nya this and meow meow that. The earthquake spooked them so bad they hightailed it out of here lickety split. Freddy cats, let me left me high and dry. Oh, that's why the fields look like a pigsty. Uh, no offense, sir. Oinks a lot. Say hi to the poogie, everyone. I'm stuck and working all by my lonesome. Well, this here is a left of the old harvest. See that blue sheen? Means this one's heck of a healthy mushroom. You can't eat it on its own. My advice would be to combine it with something. Go on, take it and make something good. Blue mushrooms. And there is actually something back here in the waterfall. Look, look at this little thing. What a mysterious statue. I wonder if we'll ever come back and talk to that again. We probably will. But honestly, we're going to be waiting a very long time. 
there is two more places to talk to. Let's go quick. Uh, no, we're gonna do that last. No, I'm getting caught on uh, fishmongers. Th this here is our uh, general store. So, and here is our uh, wait. Hello, can you talk, please? Please and thank you. Salutations, hunter. Neko means cat. That's a great. Actually, I kind of like this guy. Uh, you stand before Argosy's captain, f finest crew, and ah, uh, yeah, sure. They call me Tiger of the Far East. Neko. Neko means tiger, sort of. Neko perform important tasks like swabbing a poop deck and lifting of boxes. Very important work, Juyo Juyo. Tiger must. <laughs> Excuse me. Tiger must wear many stripes, you know. Yeah, well, then. You made Argosy Capsi yet? Uh, he and Neko have the same masculine way of sp <laughs> same masculine way of speaking. Sure, I've no idea. Some of this is lost on me. I don't understand. It's it's definitely playing back or a play of speech back. To, uh, that would make a lot more sense in Japanese, I'm sure. We also wear the same style of clothes. He glow with coolness from afar, like Tiger of Far East. Argosy Captain trusts Neko with special <laughs> nimum here in in uh, Moga Village. Nimum means assignment. Neko not biggest of cheeses, so commodities and major trade goods still up to captain. But Neko have equally important nimens, whatever that is. Nimu? I can't read, it's fine. Neko in charge of delivering goods to Portanzia, Juju. I said that wrong too, I don't care. <laughs> you stand before, I'm not even going to bother reading that. The Marine Network, network of life-altering importance. You want to go to Portanzia? Neko save you cushy seat, give you a lift, Nyao problem. Nani? Price of ticket? <laughs> Tiger of Far East, no swindler. Take you for free. Mayhap impart nuggets of tiger wisdom a long way. Tell ghost stories. Make moors. Mm, or perhaps moors, damn it. Actually, that sounds good about now. But if boat cat fire. Ooh, I'm not even going to say that. Tangier comes in multiple flavors. So this is basically the solo port for playing alone in multiplayer, and then the multi port for actually playing multiplayer. Yeah, this is basic. So where are we going? I'm going to quickly travel to the marina over here. I'm going to talk to a few people. That was weird. Alright. Ah, Domo. This here called Portanzia. Portanzia, holy crap. Very big place. Many merchants from all around gather here from, uh. Not from, but for Koke. Yeah, it means com commerce. Yeah, so, uh. Don't get lost. Perfect. Where to? Nowhere. So, over here in the port, this is your room. This is your item box. You can change equipment here. This is your courier, so if you actually are playing online, you can get guild cards from other players, and they can show up here for, like, uh, Hunters for Hire sort of thing, uh, if you're familiar with 4 Ultimate or uh, Generations. Same sort of thing in here. Uh, he's the courier, so we'll look up with the Hunters, yeah. And this isn't very, uh... Yeah, Street Pass stuff and whatnot there, so yeah, so... Not important. I'm never going to see anyone. I'm not playing this online. And a bunch of people to talk. Yes. The uppity instructor. You found the world's greatest wandering hunting instructor. Must be a lucky day. Uh, I was once a wretch like you. I uh, act out a living hiking from hiking. Really, only hiking from village to village. Hmm. Instructing wannabe hunters for zennies. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem so uh, great. Each day, wondering where I get my next meal. They say money can't buy happiness. I say poverty uh, buys plenty of unhappiness. Uh, there's some truth to that. But I hear that this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Folks in claiming you can get bargain brews at this port. So he's here for the beer. 
When negotiations go well, my new address will be on Easy Street. Maybe I'll uh, name a wing of a <laughs> after you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, so if you ever come out in here, you can usually get some dung right here. That can be useful for uh, for finding nothing. You can get dung there. You can search it once per quest, I believe. Yes, sir. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? I can always tell it's your first time in Tanzia. What? Me? I'm just a junior sailor. My ship travels the world stocked with trade goods and commodities. We're in Tanzia now, offloading a huge load of cargo. We'll be back in the sea soon enough. Oh, man. The sea is really something. It's crisp breeze, steady waves. I can stand out here forever. Oh, but enough about the woolly gathering here. Yeah, take this. Consider it a gift of the sea. I don't even know what he's... Uh, sushi fish? Is that what he gave me? Yes, he gave me a sushi fish. Awesome. Uh, this is not someone I needed to talk to. Never mind. Granny go to! These are bargain items usually, if I remember right. Oh, wouldn't think to look at me, but uh, I'm peddling my wares all over the fine world. I've got a sack full of goodies you can't easily find in these parts. Give me a holler if you see something you fancy. Sometimes I come, come across great deals in my travels, too, so uh, be sure to stop by often. Pass on the savings to you. Now be a dear and have a look yeah. at my wares. So yeah, she, just like the wandering travelers in uh, all the other games, she's basically the same thing. Traveling merchants, I mean. She'll have a uh, different assortment of items that you can usually either can't buy in shops or can buy for less than any from her. And yeah, so. Hey there, you look like you're lost. I'm not lost. First time here, trying to get find the guild? Well, if you are, it's right over here. Just check out the uh, accepting quests that are first step in the true path, the lighting to, uh, I don't know what I was just saying there, but Lightning Mints, or something. Yeah, actually, uh, I don't know what it means. I heard the Guildmaster say it, and uh, I thought it sounded cool. I have somebody else in here who wants to talk to me? Really? Oh yeah, of course, I didn't come talk to the the uh, blacksmith in the armor. So, yeah, this is just another blacksmith. Never seen you around these parts? Uh, get a good look at you. Make yourself at home, blah blah, this is... Introducing Smithy, Armory, new friend of town, yeah, so this isn't really important. Wow, you have a lot to say. So, yes. If you are in here, this is probably the most expansive guild hall you've seen so far, essentially. Because, yeah, you can actually uh, do everything you need online. <laughs> or offline over here. You don't have to go back to the village to do anything. You can do everything you need here. There's items over here. There's an item shop in here, in this section here. You've got uh, a place to change your equipment and save and whatnot there. Your room. This is the item store clerk. And yeah, so. Has all the same stuff except for these. The Tanzia chips are specifically something you can only buy here. They work very much like. Um, well, they work like an immunizer, essentially. It, but uh, it is. Uh, it takes you the same. Actually, you know what? I don't remember. I think it gives you a, a few different things. I know what they what that item does in like four ultimate and, and onwards there, but I don't know what it does in this. So here we have the arena clerk. It's the arena here. Ah, oh, new face. You must be fresh off the boat. Ah, you know this is the arena counter, right? Ah, you're still a rookie after all. The arena is home to hunting you won't find anywhere else. We pit hunters against monsters in front of a roaring crowd. Our audience wants to see a battle of wits. They demand true hunting rather than reliance on fancy pants equipment. Food effects? Eh, they don't work here. Super duper armor? Not in my arena, buster. You use the gear we give you and slay monsters. An experienced hunter can handle any situation, but you? Eh, well, you look like you could use a little seasoning. Still, I won't stop you if there's an arena quest you want to try. Let me know. 
And uh, your times will be recorded in the leaderboards too. I'll be happy to show them to you when you talk to me. Nab guild cards from other hunters? Yeah, that's not going to happen. And they'll show up in the leaderboards too. Maybe you'll find a nemesis or two. That's pretty much the rundown. Don't be afraid to ask me to repeat your info. Believe it or not, I'm happy to help. Anyway, do your best out there. And here we have our uh, quest receptionist. You register a hunter? Yes. Well then, um, take your interest in the Hunter's Guild. If uh, you wish to begin accepting quests here, you must first register yourself with the Hunter of the Guild here. Once you complete registration, you'll be able to call this city home. It's really ultimate home for base hunters. The ultimate home base for hunters, I can't speak. Trade port uh, practically overflows with supplies. You'll never have trouble gathering essentials for the hunt. And the guild does way more than just support hunt hunters on hunts. We also provide room, board, and clothing as well. I think I covered everything. So I sold you on the place? Please speak with the guild monster right over there. The guild monster over here. Let's go talk to the good old guild monster. Welcome, rookie. You here to register as a hunter, are you? Well, come to the right place. Oh, great, he's drunk. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, being the head of this whole hunter's guild is thirsty work. It takes a lot of caffeine to bring hunters together. Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe he's just drinking coffee? Poor Tandy is a real hot... I have no idea what I was about to say, but it was not going to be a hot spot. It's a hot spot for traders and such. The, the hunters have really taken over lately. Oh, their base of operation. So the city was built on the backs of nippers like you. The more you hunt, the more tans you prospers. Eh, makes for good grub, too. We guild folk are uh, here every step of the way. Well, just worry about improving your skills and completing hunts. Yep, drinking away. Perfect. Anyhow, we need to work on other... Work up a lather yet? Huh? You just poke around for now. Get the nick of things. Oh, one more thing. See that gong behind me? That's the guild's pride and joy. You give the gong a ring, you'll summon hunters from around the land and you know, right to hit this here port. Nothing beats with a pack of old, hunting with a pack of old pals. Yeah. So that's how you basically uh, change your multiplayer settings and whatnot. You talk to him and he can change shit around. And are you almost done? Rookie Hunter Journal. Uh, that's fine. Oh my god. You still have stuff to say. Oh, the other figure got a crucial piece of info. Uh, I'm not playing on the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is You can transfer data between the Wii U version, which is what I'm playing, and the 3DS version. So, uh, that's what this is talking about. It's, once again, not important. And the official quest counter... Registration went off well. This counter is a hunter for quests. All kinds of hunting in the guilds, you know, blah blah. Yeah, yeah so I'm just going to skip through this. This is low rank, high rank, and so on and so forth. Do I have anything else in here? I have no idea who this is. I don't... Tanzia Grill. Only guild certified three-star restaurant in town. Three-star restaurant in Tanzia. Perfect. Oh, I'm the new garçon here. And you're my first customer. So here's a little present. Take a nip. Better voucher. And I think this guy is going to give me a bunch of well-done steaks. Welcome to Tan the feline dr Oh, yeah. Welcome to Tanzia's Grill. Uh, <laughs> meat's always well done. Uh, barbecue thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's nice cat. That's nice cat. Well done, steaks. Yeah, full stack. That's actually helpful. Alright. That is literally everything here. I am going to uh, completely screw what I was just doing here. How do I... Can I even do this, I wonder? Doesn't look like I can. Nope. Okay, whatever. I was checking my gamepad to see if I had a quick way to, uh, to get from here to uh, back to port or back to uh, town I'm going the wrong way entirely not great so hello okay thank you we're gonna head back to uh, Moga village And now that we're back, we're going to go talk to our feline uh, 
Housekeeper here. Well, welcome back, boss. I'm the steward of this chamber. So long as you are Moga Village's guest, I shall protect your things. I hate these puns sometimes. Word of advice. Hunters who do not save their progress risk losing for... Yeah, yeah, you can save here in the bed. Thanks. Thanks, Cat. Uh, spoils brought back. Go into the item box. F save keeping in the corner. Uh, you can change your equipment. This is all very... Uh, things. Oh, we have a lamp. We have a lamp. Okay. That's everything. So, furnishes. We have a lamp. So, what the hell. Let's put it here. We've got a lamp. Perfect. I'm going to take a moment to sort through my inventory, change my box around, get rid of stuff I'm not going to use, and then actually go for uh, that first uh, thing here. So uh, I'll see you back momentarily. Okay, well, now that that's all set and done, uh, clearly I have a lance on my back. So just like my last couple playthroughs, if you followed those, uh, I'm only going to be using three different melee weapons and one gunner weapon through this playthrough. I'm going to be using the lance seen here, obviously, the longsword, uh, going back with a hammer again, because there's been some uh, slight changes with it, and it's actually even better than it used to be. And also the heavy bow gun. But, uh, okay, once again, we have uh, the uh, telepathic chief uh, is making a return from... Uh, or with his capabilities. Uh, <laughs> How are they talking to us from here? No. Oh, can you hear me? Uh, you gotta reach my son, Junior. He should be at camp. My ancestors have a sand. Wherever you go, there you are. Really? You see the map on the screen? Yes. Red triangle shows we are at... Wow, basic. So yeah, follow it to base camp. Lexative to move around. Hold R to run. So yeah, literally, tutorials. Hey, tutorials! Like, in-your-face tutorials. We haven't seen that yet in uh, in these games. <laughs> Welcome to Moga Woods, everyone. Oh, before I get something I ought to tell you about dashing. The yellow bar at the top of the screen is your stamina. Guess what? Running around is going to take your stamina because, wow... To its oh my god, <laughs> I don't remember all of these tutorials. This is a little ridiculous. And so I'm going to just uh, s oh. Where, where, oh my god, <laughs> I really don't remember all this. So yeah, we got a bunch of panels that we can customize on our Wii U. Pa wow, I honestly don't remember all of these tutorials. It has been a very long time since I've played this game. It's actually, uh, I looked at this before I start, uh, the other day before I actually started to sit down for all of this here. S now we're going to get talked about monsters. Yes. Okay. So they're actually, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we move on, please? Thank you. And once again now is telling us about carving stuff. And actually those tutorial things also uh, did tell us that uh, we want to get uh, these and bring them to uh, Junior basically. You want to bring some red meat to Junior or raw meat to Junior. So there was uh, a bit of a reason other than just tutorial for that. But at the same time, oh my god, text boxes and tutorials. I, I, like, I honestly don't remember this many stuff popping up. Oh, I actually get two cards off this guy? I'm surprised. So, if if it looks like I'm carving pretty quickly, I actually kind of am. Uh, status, there. So, the armor that I'm getting, that I have here, uh, it is the, um, it's the leather set, you start with it. It has speed gathering. That actually also increases your carving speed. So that's why it, uh, it was so quick to, uh, to carve. Nice work. 
We reached camp. Congratulations. Yeah, it's all badly damaged because of the earthquakes. And go talk to Junior. Hey, Hunter. Glad you dropped by. Send us on a tour of Mogul Woods. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't talk more yesterday. Disaster makes for, uh, well, you know, bad chit chat, right? Oh, uh, anyway, probably know who I am by now. I'm J <coughs> I'm the chief's son. What am I doing here? You might ask, standing among the rubble. Oh, good question. Well, you see, this is your base camp. Was, is? Okay, I'm still figuring that part out. I was on patrol, so I came by for a look. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna need a hunting base, and this is where we uh, left the tent. And uh, I have no idea the bocce. Oh, the bocce set. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, oh, the earthquake really did this place in. We need to fix it up before you can hunt from here. I'll go back to the village uh, and get the ball rolling, but first, I uh, got any, uh, anything I can munch on? I'm so hungry I can eat an Aptonoff. Got any raw meat? Because uh, I can barbecue like a champ. Me plus barbecue equals BFF. Sure. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Wait, you have meat? Raw meat. Can I have it, please? Thank you. Uh, something about animal flesh gets my tummy all a-rumbling. Uh, time to barbecue and chow down. You're all right, Hunter. We'll talk more back at base camp, back of the village. Think of some way to thank you with uh, Scout's Honor. See you there. So, I'm not quite hungry enough to bite into the slab of disease, so uh, yeah, I ought to cook this. Go ahead and return to the village. More about the base camp back to the village once I'm done barbecuing. So we can either run back to the gate where we uh, came from, or we can just... Um, not what I expected from that. Uh, I guess actually we. Oh, there we go. De Never mind. Uh, I guess maybe we can't do that because we're not in a quest, or maybe it's because we were at. Okay. Never mind. There's more here. Hey there, kid. Looks like you managed to deliver the meat to Junior. Good. Hey, we can handle simple tasks. Congratulations. I think it's high time you head back to the village. Yeah, that was the plan. So, yeah. Basically, go back to camp. Yay? Or well, not camp. Go back to... You think I would actually be able to speak properly and understand what I'm saying? Um, you would be wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd say one day I'll get with things, but... Really, it hasn't happened yet. It's been like three years. It's not going to happen. Oh, I'm so tired. Let me leave. Oh, seriously. I'm... Oh, okay. That actually worked out. All the way back to the pier. Oh, you made it. Press, press the A button to return to the village because we don't already have this big A to village on the screen right now. Yeah, go speak to some rooms to get back there. I'd also like to give you something for your help. So come by and see me when you talk to Junior. Okay, well, Junior's right here. So, hey, Junior. Oh, hey, yo, Hunter. Thanks for the meat. I get woozy if I don't eat every couple hours. <laughs> you and me are going to get along. So, I just finished figuring out all the materials we need to fix up the base camp. We need to uh, dig new latrines, rebuild the tents, cover the old latrines, delose the bed. I need some serious resources. Uh, you know what those are. Uh, you can increase our resources by hunting monsters in the Mogul Woods, or finding the right items. Uh, we villagers can't go very far into the woods. Monsters out there tend to love us for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a hunter like you could always hike anywhere in the woods. Uh, no sweat. And uh, we come back loaded with resources. Don't worry. We fix all the roads that got messed up with the earthquake. Uh, gotta get some resources in the woods, will ya? But uh, don't go stumbling around at night. Uh, what you can't see can hurt you in these woods. Best to stick to daytime hunting for now. Oh, almost forgot. I have something for you. Take this barbecue spit. Made it myself. Use it to roast the raw meat you carve. Nothing, nothing beats outdoor cooking. Oh, uh, things a cinch to use. I'll give you some early grilling tips too. Yeah, sure. And uh, 
Go and give a report to my pops, would you? He loves getting reports. Alright, so, villager requests. We need 30 resource points, and we have 5,000. Now, if you're not familiar with this game or have never played it, one thing that uh, I should explain here is the fact that no, I didn't cheat, I didn't hack anything. I have all the DLC for this game, as like every other Monster Hunter game, they're free. And one of the one of the things there was 5,000 resources. However, unlike the other Monster Hunter games that came after this, uh, they did it properly, as far as I'm concerned. And rather than forcing you to basically claim the, the DLC with a single file and never be able to claim it again for something like this, uh, you download it to your, your, your hard drive, you have the thing, and anytime you start a new character, a new game, whatnot there, it just gives it to you. So I have 5,000 uh, resource points to start with because I got a free 5,000 from the DLC. Now this also means that we don't have to go out... Uh, we, we don't actually have to go out and do any resource hunting for stuff here. Uh, we already have what we need, but I am going to go talk to... Where is the Elder? Here's the Elder. Before we actually do that. Yeah, I heard the Quay left the base camp in shambles, but, uh... Why long face, Hunter? Oh, let me guess. Camp's a lost cause. Is that what you're thinking? Ha! <laughs> I don't know lost cause is. Only lost confidence. Uh, so the camp needs a little work. Okay, a lot of work. Never. Well, never you worry. I've, uh, unlost causes a lot more dire than this one. Uh, you think this village built itself? <laughs> All takes a little teamwork. If you and the villagers put your heads together, you can accomplish anything. Tell you what, you rent up the resources and materials we need, and we'll handle all the labor. Uh, that's... that's better than teamwork. That's better than teamwork? Isn't that teamwork? <laughs> At least we can do. Heck, <laughs> take this. That's not much, but I just want you to know is you're appreciated. Remember, kid, your final goal is to take out Legiacris. Uh, we'll be there to help every step of the way. I got another thousand. So... And we're going to report kills, so... He just gave a rundown on all of this. You go into Mor Moga Forest, you kill things, you report it, all the kills you get tally up, and you get resource points. That's how you collect those. And you'll also get uh, some commodities sort of things based on uh, things you kill and whatnot there. So uh, the more stuff you kill, the more sort of commodities here you can get. And those are useful for trading with the, uh, the Argosy captain, which uh, uh, Neko means cat uh, told us about. And so resource info. All right, so resource info here. We can actually check out items we have, and it'll tell us that... Uh, tells us how much each of the worth. Each of these points listing is how much they're worth. And the generate resources, if you have something that can be turned into resources, anything on the list, so uh, and so forth, uh, you can select them through that and just generate resources. So let's turn in the 30 points. Alright. Yeah, we figured that rather quickly. Sure. They're going to go repair the camp. Um, sure. And the artisan. Hey, it's you. Fine timing. Kid, I got a favor to ask. Well, I reckon you're going to go hunting this here village. Yeah, you'll need my help, and well, that, ain't, that ain't just me tooting my horn. Yeah, so I've been thinking. Let's give that weapon of yours a little upgrade. So, that's, uh, so as you see what this is all about, I can't read, it's fine. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. I ain't swinging my hammer until you fetch me some basic materials first. Iron ore. Source your own equipment. Material, it's the hunter's way. Oh, provide me with what I what it takes. Good enough fight to locate a nice ore deposit and a skill to mine it. Or pr prove we have what it takes is what he actually said there, but I'll give you my very own iron pickaxe. That's uh, good for swinging. <laughs> give it a... I, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, use it on an ore uh, patch. No, I don't want that. I don't know what it was uh, going on from there. So... One last person to talk to us here. It's because we finished the camp. See, kid? No, you'd have no trouble rounding up the resources we needed, and I can fix up the base camp for you. And I heard, heard about the iron ore. The Wiverin is always uh, hard to please, but uh, the guy's the worst of them. What? 
I've known him since I was younger than you. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that makes sense now. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I'll tell you, we've buttered, we've butted, not buttered, but butted heads more times than the sky is stars. There's no question his keen eye is an artisan. We'll just see what he makes you. Oh, by the way, you remember seeing a brazier burning just outside the village? Oh, might want to have a closer look next time you go by. Trust me. Oh, and before I forget, a little something here for you. Just a uh, way to say thanks. Let's see now. More money. So, we're going to call it here for today. However, I am going to say one thing. The brazier outside uh, the, the, the entrance there, fencing outside there we was talking about, you can search that and get a torch. Not useful in this game. Was useful in Try, not in this game. So, uh, well, actually, you know what? You can actually use it to uh, to lure Banabras closer to you if you're trying to kill them. So I guess there is a use for it in that case. But anyway, that is going to bring us to a close for today. We did not do a whole lot other than walk around and talking, but uh, it, it's, it's gone on long enough for me. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back next time for what I'm assuming is going to be the last of the tutorial quests on that before uh, we start getting into some more real things. So until next time. Take care, you hear?